Okay, let's go ahead and get started there, folks. Um, Blackheart will be joining me in just a few minutes, so um, so just be patient along those lines. We are going to be getting started on our Unreal certification, or not Unreal certification, uh, Unreal Engine study session. Um, we're going to be continuing on with our um, studying of the you know, working with audio section on the documentation, you know, just in case anybody's kind of wondering, you know, where we're at, you know, uh, we're going to be continuing, uh, we're going to be going over the audio files section in the 4.27 documentation. So you're welcome to kind of follow along with us if you want. Um, the, you know, for those of you that might not be aware, or if you're not a already aware. Uh, Blackheart and I are going to be continuing this study session of, you know, going over the documentation of the Unreal so that when we do get to a point where, um, you know, we've covered over the material, we're going to start on um, work on a clone, you know, a game clone. Okay. Um, you know, we don't know exactly which one we want to work with, but, you know, we're going to try to find something that is, you know, one, easy-ish to make, you know, we don't want to, we're not going to be, you know, trying to build ourselves like, you know, uh, you know, World of Warcraft on our very first build. I mean, let's, let's face it, <laughs> you know, it's just us two, so, um, you know, we want to try to start off small. Okay, so, you know, something simple or, you know, simple-ish, you know, uh, to start off with. And then we will move on to, uh, after we make the clone, that we'll kind of work on our, um, uh, how, you know, you know, we'll allow for us to really use what we've learned with the Unreal Engine so far you know, through studying this documentation, then we will move on to, um, uh, and, you know, start making our own games at that point. And we'll see where we can go from there. But uh, that's that's the plan, if anybody's wondering. So uh, I see that Blackheart is in the stage. So let me go ahead and invite him to speak. Hello there, Jim. How you doing? I'm doing okay. How about yourself? I'm doing okay. Good to hear. Good to hear. Okay, so um, we're going to be continuing our process in the uh, audio section. Hopefully, we'll uh, we won't have too many problems with this one, but you know, you never know. <laughs> yeah. Um, we're not audio engineers, so some things we're about to struggle with yeah yeah so and you know which reminds me you know if anybody is very familiar with being you know doing a lot of audio with unreal engine uh you know please feel free to stick around and you know maybe answer our questions because we're probably going to have some <laughs> or at least me you know maybe you know tell us no you know this is this is how you th should think of it or something along those lines you know we are we are welcome to have some additional insights on it um you know answering our questions or anything along those lines uh we we welcome that even if it's uh if you're like maybe watching these videos um you know years down the line you can maybe put some answers in the comment section because who knows maybe someone else is also studying along with us you never know. <laughs> so, um, okay. Uh, so, ready to get started on the audio file section? Yep. All right. So, the audio files, the basic requirements of getting sound files into the Unreal Engine 4. Okay. So, the Unreal Engine 4's audio, uh, audio system provides tools and features to mold the sounds in the game to give them the desired feel. This all starts with your audio source files. 
Either as mono or stereo files, they can be quickly imported into Unreal Editor 4 and begin breathing more life into your creations. Below are the basic requirements for your audio content and a quick import guide. Um, now, I'll, I'll, I will say something a little bit quickly. Um, yes, you know, uh, well, I mean, sound can definitely, you know, uh, add more life to your creations, uh, creations, of course. You know, that's, that's, you know, um, it would be an interesting game if we were to not use any kind of sound whatsoever, right? Uh, we would have to kind of counter, you know, we would have to really work, uh, we would have to find some, something else that, you know, might be... Um, you know, if, if we had no sound whatsoever, right? So, um, and even then it's like, you know, we would have to like, you know, if we had no sound whatsoever, then that, that would be a very interesting game. Um, you know, because like no music, no sound effects, nothing of the sort. It's like, hmm. Um. Uh, now I I know like one game recently came out um, that has no background music whatsoever, you know, um, but it does still have audio, you know, which was the uh, uh, Exit Eight, you know, that's been kind of going around lately. Oh yeah, I've seen a few videos of it. Yeah. Um. So no background music. But it definitely has still audio to it. It still has, um, you know, echo effects. It still has, you know, walking uh, distance, um, you know, rushing water and so on and so forth. And, you know, a little. Um, but, you know, that's that's the thing about that game is that because it's it doesn't necessarily have any like background music that you know a lot of people might be used to it. You know, it kind of, you know, it, it puts them into a sense of uh, unfamiliarity, you know, because, you know, here they are like expecting, oh, I'm, I'm going to see a title screen. Oh, I'm going to have some background music. Nope. And nope. <laughs> it's like, hmm, you know, already you're kind of thrown into something unexpected and maybe a little unnerving for some. So, um which which might be exactly what you're kind of going for, you know, in a game, right? Um, so. Lack of audio, if I think about it, like, I haven't seen it done yet, but having you play as a character that can't hear. Yeah, um... Having the lack of audio, like putting you in the position of a character that can't hear, that will be an interesting experimental game. Yeah. Um. You would have to. You would um in in that case you would have to be something. It would have to be something that is you know highly visual, right? Yeah. Um. And, um, and even then it's like, you know, what happens if you, uh, you know, you, you might mess with the player a little bit, like, you know, uh, Hey, sure. Uh, you might be, you know, you might be deaf, but, um, you know, maybe they throw some flashbangs in there or something like that, which, you know, <laughs> causes, causes additional problems or, or you put them in a nighttime situation where, you know, they don't see anything, they don't really hear anything. It's like, you know, now you're, uh, but you really have to, um, it might be a little different. Like, you know, you, there if, would definitely some, be something different. I haven't seen it done yet, but it would be very interesting in my opinion. I thought, I 
think there was a game that tried to do something like that. Um, here, hold on. Um, game about being deaf. Um, I know I came across a across of an indie game about being a blind samurai, which you only have sound to guide yourself with. Mm -hmm. Found a game that did that once before. Very hard. Mm -hmm. But I haven't found one of one you, where you can't hear. Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, you can you can maybe do something that could be like just just as simple as, um, um, trying to, uh. You know, uh, just just having like you know a uh, a person just like walking down the street or something like that. You can have something as simple as that, you know, and and basically saying, okay, you just want to go down to the grocery market, but the city is having one of its days. Good luck, you know, kind of thing, <laughs> you know, and of of course you could just, you know, make it just absolutely insane, right? Like, you can have just, like, uh, you know, simple stages where it's, like, you know, like, maybe, like, the only thing that you have to worry about is, you know, you get to, you get to, you know, cross in the street, right? But you have to wait until the, uh, you know, the crosswalk is basically saying, hey, you can walk now. And, but you have to be careful because maybe someone's trying to run, run the red. <laughs> If you walk out too fast, <laughs> or if you if you don't like look to the left and see that you know, hey, there's a car that's screening out of the control. It's like, well, guess what? You're gonna get yourself run over, or you know, something along those lines. I mean, um, we can definitely it would it would definitely be an interesting build. That I will say that, but at the same time, um. The um... <laughs> I I could just imagine um trolling trolling gamers on you know a a game at the very very at the very start like the the title screen right right um you you know you you have like the the um. Yeah, you have the 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 title of the game and you know the start load and all that kind of jazz, right? And down at the very bottom, you have you know how uh, so, uh when you when you're watching something with subtitles, right? If you have something that has subtitles on, whenever they're playing music, it always like it. it there's always that little subtitle down at the very bottom because, let's face it, if you're deaf, you're not going to be able to hear the music. But it's like down at the very bottom saying, you know, uh, music with rock or something like that, right? Can you imagine we do a title screen and we put that down at the very bottom? <laughs> <laughs> but no actual music, just... <laughs> just just subtitles <laughs> yeah just to just to mess with people now uh, of course you know um if if someone is actually deaf um that that you know might not necessarily change for them at all right um but at the same time you know, we'll need to, like, let them know that, you know, this is indeed, you know, something that we are just kind of working on just for, you know, maybe getting, uh, giving, you know, players an understanding of what's it, what it might 
be like in a day of being naturally deaf, you know? So, but, I, you know, I don't know. But at, at the same time, you know, you and I aren't deaf, so, you know, we, we wouldn't, we don't know. But, no. um, but it'd be kind of interesting, right? Maybe some, maybe something for us to think about, you know, later on. <laughs> but yeah, um, but yeah, the, the the you know breathing more life, yes, it it definitely can. You know, that's that's you know um, quite understandable along those lines. So okay, import the engine currently supports uh, importing uncompressed little. Indian 16-bit wave files at any sample rate, although sample rates of uh, 44,100 uh, 44, hertz or 22,050 hertz are recommended. Uh, specifications, wave, bit rate, speaker channels, blah, blah, blah. Importing with the normal sound factory yields a simple sound node wave that can be referenced by a sound cue for playback. These sounds can be mono or stereo. Importing with a special naming convention gives the potential for multi-channel. Uh, of multi-channel. E.g. Uh, 5.1 sounds. Up to eight channel sounds can be compressed on all platforms, although not all platforms can play them back efficiently. The package saving process does all the necessary work to convert the platform's native format. There is no strict speaker mapping, so the number of channel infers which channels are played on which speakers. See table below. So, front right, uh, front left, front right, front center, low frequency, side left, side right, back left, back right. So that's that's basically, you know, if you had a eight speaker setup, you know, with the 7.1, that's basically what this is all about here. You know, you have the front left, front right, front center. You have the low frequency, which is, you know, typically referred to as the bass. I would at least I believe that's what, you know, but normally whenever I see, you know, surround sound systems they you know, whenever they the low frequency I would imagine would be like that bass speaker that is typically included in uh, surround sound from what I've seen. So I'm assuming that's what it's about. You have the side left and side right, you know, which is supposed to be, you know, directly to your sides, you know, not necessarily like in front or back of you. you just, it's meant to like hit your ears directly. <laughs> uh, and back left and back right. So, so uh, compression settings are tweaked to maintain similar quality across platforms. After testing many sounds, our musician determined an XMA quality was uh, of 40 was equivalent to an OGG Vorbis quality of 0.15. I have no idea what this what was just mentioned there. Uh, no idea what that this last line is even referring to whatsoever. Uh, XMA quality, org vorbis, what? I, you know, no clue. So if anybody has any insight on that, feel free to, you know, let us know. But yeah. Um, single file or import. And the content browser from the content browser, click the import button, uh, select the wave file you wish to import, or select the sound file in the Windows File Explorer window, and drag and uh, click and drag it into the content browser in the Unreal Editor 4. Okay, so you can either do the import menu or you can just drag and drop. So. Drag and drop. <laughs> okay, multi-channel import. In the content browser, from the content browser, click the import button, picture below. Select the files that have the appropriate naming convention that will form your sound asset, such as surround FL, uh, dot wave, surround FR wave, surround SL wave, and surround SR wave. 
Um, so if you go back up to the uh, that little table that was above there, you know, on the, about the front left, front right, you'll notice, you know, the extensions, you know, extension column there. So uh, what you're going to want to make sure that you do, because I'm assuming um, uh, Unreal is probably looking for them as well, is, um, you know, you label the sounds that you want for people to hear from those speakers, you know, with the these particular extensions that kind of like the tail end of them, you know, like uh, sound underscore FL, you know, dot wave, you know, for, for the front left. Um, sound underscore SL, you know, dot wave for the side left, you know, that kind of thing. So. Um, this will create a four channel asset called surround. Um, or select all your sound files in the Windows File Explorer window and click and drag them into the content browser in Unreal 4. Exporting the multi channel sound asset will create a mono WAV file for each channel with the above speaker extension name, naming convention. So. Uh, related, working with audio, we're already doing that, so we don't need to worry about that. Audio system overview, we've already covered that, so, or, yeah, we've already covered that, so both of these have already been covered, already, and are, are, are being covered right at this moment in time, so, so, yeah. Um, and that's it, that's, that's all that there is to this section. Uh, which I find very disappointing. Uh, you know, I, I, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm just gonna state that right now because, um, you know, here I was expecting that they would cover a lot more when it comes to the audio files. You know, what what you might need for them, what you might, you know. Uh, expect from them, you know, uh, how to add them into the um, into the game engine. Um, you know what? Maybe the um, you know different settings that you might see for the audio files or something along those lines. You know, you know, and what they actually mean. You know, maybe some word definitions or something, you know, anything, you know. I was kind of expecting this to be a fairly large accumulation of a lot of information for audio files. But no, they're just giving you the basic requirements. Hmm. And even then, it's like, okay, well, <laughs> that's not very... It's, doesn't really have a whole lot there, guys. So, yep. uh, any questions or anything that you want to speak up about there, Blackheart? No. Nope. I just hope that someone puts in the chat or down in the comments below if some anything about that paragraph under the um, uh, chart. So that what XMA and uh, for this is because I have no idea what those were. Agreed. And yeah, that is alien to me. Yeah. Now, um, let me let me uh, add something more to that as well. Okay. Um. We're going to be putting both, you know, we're going to be putting this on both of our channels. Okay. Obviously, you know, Blackheart will have his, his view showing everything. You know, I will have my view showing everything, you know, so, um, you know, ideally it'd be great if, you know, if people do answer these questions on these videos to maybe go to the other channel and, you know, add in the same comment, you know, to to each of our videos uh, that would be ideal but I get it if, if you don't really want to take that time, uh, kind of time um, 
to just kind of copy and paste. Uh, so at the very least, leave it on one of our uh, uh, on comment section for one of our channel, uh, one of our videos, and you know, we'll we'll share it with each other. So so don't don't be stressed about having to. Oh my God, I have to deal with this. No, you don't have to. It'd be nice, but you don't have to. So okay. So, um, shall we move on to the Sunday continuation? I mean, we still got 30 more yeah. minutes left. <laughs> yeah, let's at least get that one started. All right. Oh, uh, it's lengthy. Oh, yeah, it is. Very lengthy. And it looks as though it covers a lot of, um visuals and what we might be kind of seeing on here it seems like there's a lot of examples on it so but yeah it's yep. um this will take us a couple days easy yep oh my voice <laughs> no just kidding okay? <laughs> no no, no I'm, I'm just uh, i'm looking at it and going oh my god my voice is gonna die you know with with the sheer amount <laughs> you know i uh, obviously you know when you when you're a streamer you know you have to make sure that you i mean if you're like singing a lot you're gonna need to take take days off to or, you know, you're going to need to take uh, points or, you know, you're not going to need want to stress your voice out, you know, any more than you, you know, already have with singing, right? Uh, same with just speaking. You know, if you're speaking quite a bit, you know, you're going to need to make sure that, um, you know, like eight hours of constantly speaking is can be it can be a little rough on your voice if you're not careful so thankfully yeah. we don't have to worry about it on on, on this particular in this particular mm. case <laughs> but you know obviously if i would if i was to ever lose my voice which i don't think i ever i don't think it's ever happened to me to be honest i don't think i've ever really lost my voice before to my knowledge at least i don't really remember ever having that experience um yeah about you know i would definitely be handing the reins over to blackheart and saying blackheart you're gonna have to <laughs> you're gonna have to speak <laughs> on this which obviously he's more than happy to yeah they're gonna have to deal with my uh very bad english reading <laughs> Did you already get enough of that on my uh, Blender Krita streams? Yeah. But, you know, um, you know, I just, if, you know, like, if that were to ever happen, you know, then we will be, ad we will be dealing with it, you know, one way or another. So you don't have to, you don't have to stress about that. Um, also, you know, uh, I, I figured, you know, my speaking through all this is kind of comfortable for Blackheart as well. You know, unless he wants to speak or, you know, speak through this. I mean, I'll let him if he wants, if he wants to do it. <laughs> but I know with some words I'm going to struggle. Yeah. But I mean, and just take a look at any of my art bots where you'll see how, they, how much I struggle with some words. Yeah, I know. I get it. Um, you know, English isn't your first language, which is, I mean, like I said, um, you know, I'm, you know, I'm impressed. Um, like, well, I mean, you, you have Spanish and English, I mean, and your, your English is really good my friend <laughs> you know you. so um and you know spanish is your native so or at least i'm assuming spanish is your native <laughs> yep. yes, so, it is. um you know do you have any other languages that you're 
that you have under your belt, or is it just the two? Not at the time. Are you trying to learn another one, or...? I'm thinking of looking into some other language. Okay. Okay. But, you know, I just have English there, folks. <laughs> you know, um, you know, I might have maybe a few words of Spanish under my belt, but that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, never got into the conversational Spanish. So uh, when I took the two classes of Spanish back in high school, which was years ago, so... <laughs> Alright, so, uh, send attenuation. Reference for the various models available for controlling the attenuation of sounds. Reference for the sound attenuation settings asset, which controls various aspects of how sound behaves over distance relative to the listener. Usually, the player is the listener. Usually. Hmm. You can make AI be a listener in a way. Well, yeah, 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 true. Um, you know, various... Uh, um, well, I mean, you know... What I can think of is alien isolation. The alien can, is a listener and mm -hmm. can hear. Yep, so if you're making a lot of noise, it will go, Ooh, you're over here, let's go. <laughs> let's come and attack, you know. Um, <laughs> and attack it will. Um, another one that has been getting a lot of, uh, um, gameplay lately has been, uh, Lethal Company. That's been getting a lot of, that's been going around quite a lot lately. And it's gotten so popular that a lot of mods have stepped in and are, you know, doing a lot for that as well. So, yeah. um, and that game that the vanilla game of that actually has a mob that actually relies on hearing only. Mm-hmm. Yep. There, there's a mob that's hearing only. There's a mob that's visual only. Um, so, a mob that apparently steals your stuff. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but, um... But yeah, uh, it's it's not always the it's not always the listener. Um, it would be kind of interesting to try to um, create a game where you might not be the listener, but someone else is in some way. I don't know how that uh, how that would work out, but <laughs> um. But yeah, CPUs with being a listener is, is you know, common practice nowadays. So, in, so, in some cases, anyway, I should say. Um, so, the purposes of this document, we will use the term listener. Okay. Attenuation distance. This section defines how the sound's volume will reduce, attenuate, as the listener moves away from it. The volume of the sound will be at its maximum within the inner area of the attenuation shape. As the listener moves away from this inner area, the sound will decrease in volume, reaching its minimum volume at the boundary of the outer area. The rate of attenuation relative to distance is determined by the attenuation function. Okay, so attenuation function at the very uh, in the um, graphic there is linear. The attenuation shape is spherical. Uh, the inner radius is 400. Um, I'm assuming 400 uh, pixels. You know, uh, I don't know how else they uh, they rate that. So uh, fall off distance is 3,600, and I'm assuming pixels. Again, I don't know. They're not really telling us anything yet on that yeah. um, and it says enable volume attenuation which is interesting as to what that has to do with the um, um, with everything overall like you know 
uh, you know, what happens if you just turn it off? Does that just remove like the attenuation shape in well, some way? We did miss with it. Like having that off, you can hear pretty much everywhere within the given area. Well, attenuation would actually affect distance. Without it, it'll regardless of where you are at, the volume won't change. Okay. From what uh, we experimented, that was what was happening. Okay. I don't really remember that, but that's okay. Um, so it pretty much removes not only the shape, the inner radius, but also the fall off distance. So if that's the case, so, um, all right, but we'll, we'll move on. It looks like they will kind of ex explain more about this. So, so it, the attenuation function, this property defines the function that determines the rate of attenuation over distance. There's a number of different functions to choose from. Linear, this is the default function. When using this function, the volume will attenuate linearly. And so the changes in volume are constant as the listener moves towards and away from the source. This function is good for crossfading between large background type sounds that don't need tightly focused 3D spatial fall off settings. Okay. A little bit of misspelling in there, but whatever. I'm going to ignore it. Uh, logarithmic. Uh, when using this function, the volume attenuates such that the changes in volume are greater at closer distances and lesser at far distances. This function is good for spot sounds that need good 3D positioning while still being audible at reasonable distances. Okay. Not quite sure how that would really play out in real life. Um, you know, because, you know, the, the line is basically showing, you know, how much the volume changes based off of the overall, um, you know, distance versus sound volume. So, you know, like the the closer you are, the higher, uh, the higher the volume and, you know, the sound volume, but the further away you get, you know, there's a sharp decline and then it slowly, you know, trickles all the way out to the, you know, very distance to, you know, be at a sound volume of zero, right? But, you know, to be honest, I can't really think of a scenario where that really comes into play. Um, you know, where the sound drops off, like, considerably the further away you, you know, like, you know, like you have a lot of, you know, like you can hear everything happening when you're like right next to something, but it like falls off considerably until you're super far away that you can't hear anything. Um... Maybe speech? Maybe. Just all depend on the situation and what effect we want to achieve. Hmm. Not sure. You know, I'm 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 kinda curious as to, you know, what when you would want to use a logarithmic uh yeah. equation. You know, I, I would figure they like, hey, <clears throat> hey, linear is pretty much going to be the only thing that you're really going to be using in any kind of sound situations, right? But, you know, but at the same time, you know, if they're adding logarithmic, inverse, log reverse, natural sound, and custom to, to the functions, now I'm wondering, you know, what... Uh, what examples would these would fit into these 
particular scenarios. And unfortunately, they're not giving us any kind of examples yet. I guess I can think of one, say like a beating car drives by you or something like that. You got that moment where it's loud, but it quickly drops off because of how sound works with physics. But it, um, or a siren. But I can still see that as a, as a linear though, because I mean it's, um, the the volume will you know just continue to increase as the sound gets closer and closer and closer to you, and then drop off at a steady if rate. Sound waves on a moving object works a little different. Right? There is a I can't really explain it well, but if you, there is a video where it explains with example of when you hear some sirens of a moving vehicle. Uh, sound waves actually work a little bit different. Well, hmm. you might want to look at a video. I can't really explain it. Well, I mean, you know, unless unless you're going faster than the speed of sound, you know. No, it doesn't really need to be faster than speed. Well, no, no, I'm I'm just I'm just giving that as an example. Okay, um, I don't. I personally don't understand how a sound wave would be able to have a logarithmic drop off. Okay. Um, unless something is somehow affecting the sound wave to, you know, to like reduce it down considerably before it like, um, you know, uh, as the further away you, you get away from it then you know but you know um i think i thought of what you explained uh, like give a police car with a siren going uh, it's moving it's beating forward the sound waves on the front of it will be much closer together than there will be behind it behind it will just start spreading further out that does affect the sound it wouldn't sound linear at all Hmm. It by, drives by right by you, but when you hear it, the sounds like different from when it, you were in front of it. That when it when you're behind it, that sounds different. Yeah, there is. I do remember seeing a video that explains this with detail of how sound works with physics. I'm trying. I'm trying to process it in my brain. So give me a second. Um... It's always a long time ago, but no. I mean, I I get I get what you're saying. Um, if the you want to that similar effect, then linear might not be the way because for linear, like the waves are the same all around it. This might simulate the difference on the actual sound waves. Well, okay. Here's here's my here's my problem with it a little bit. Okay. Okay, so let's 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 put it into a different example here okay uh let's say the police car with the sirens going is standing still right so as you're walking away from you know or walking towards or walking away from the uh, police car with the sirens going that would be a linear progression right because yeah. the you know um it's you know if it, Right, you're you're dealing with a stationary object in that particular regards, right? The 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 sound waves are the same, you know, and your distance is increasing or decreasing depending on 
you know, if you're coming to growing, so the, you know, if you're, if you're traveling at a constant speed and the uh, siren, and you know, the uh, car with the siren is not moving, then obviously that would be considered linear. Now, so here's, here's my slight problem with the, uh, the argument with, you know, trying to face and, um, you know, with, the, with the uncommon cop car, with the siren going, right? You're right. Okay. If, you know, the, as, uh, at, as it is traveling, you know, while, you know, the car itself is not going faster than the speed of sound. Okay. So the sound waves are faster than, than how fast the car is moving. It depends on, on the, uh, speed of said car, right? Unless unless that car is somehow going at the speed of sound, um, which <laughs> um, probably don't really want to have a car being able to do that. Um, and a jet would fit, fit that description more. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it has its siren going off, right? So um, the sound waves would be faster than the traveling car. Okay, and you're right. Uh, one sound wave would basically be kind of added, you know, you're, you're pretty much packing the sound waves together as it's traveling, right? But here's the thing, when you, when you hit the, when you are like walking towards, or, you know, even if you're stationary, right? The amount of sound waves that are coming towards you that are hitting you are going to be consistent. It's the same kind of linear progression, just the sound waves are more compact. If you, it, you know, you understand what... Compact, so you're not really getting hit by them as the same as you would be from behind the car. Well, right. I will, I will grant you that. Okay. But the problem is, is that um, this is, this is based off of distance. Now... You know, what they're showing here is, you know, what when you are closest to the sound versus how far, you know, how far away you are from it. It's not showing you an arc or it's not showing you a, you know, uh, far distance to close to far kind of graph. It's not showing you a uh, it's not showing you a hill in this particular example. You know, um, this, that hill would be if. If you were coming towards it, like you're, uh, you're not taking attention that the graph showing you as a starting point, standing next to it and moving away from it. But if you're moving closer, then the you would have to look at this backwards. Like this graph just so okay. Right, right. I mean, at you... this point, you're standing right where the sound is at. Okay. Um. Let. Okay. Let's just flip it. Uh. Flip it around. Okay. So like you're you're st you're standing far away from the initial sound waves of the siren, right? Okay. You're you're far away. You know. Uh. You're far away from the sound wave, so it's you're not hearing it as much. But he here's here's my here's where I'm. Um. I'm going, this could still be considered a linear problem. My, my point that I'm making in this particular case, okay, is the fact that the set, you know, if the car is traveling at the same speed, if you're stationary and if cars and, you know, you're stationary, cars traveling at the same speed, those sound waves are going to be pretty much the same, even if it, if, if the car was standing still or traveling at the same speed, it will have the um, the siren will be, you know, uh, sending off its sound wave. Sure, the, the 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 you know, if it's if it's traveling towards you, the sound waves would be closer to each other. Okay, it would be closer to each other. So you'd be hearing the siren a lot faster and you'd be hearing wee 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 you know, kind of thing when it's when it's coming closer to you, right? Okay, versus if it you know, if it's 
going away from you to be hearing, you know, wee, 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 you know, or whatever, right? But my point is, is that the, the amount of sound waves that are hitting you is going to be consistent, okay? There's no change in the amount of... The, not be in the, the amount will be the same, yes, but the cons in, I, how the, fast it, they're hitting you won't be. No, it, it it will still be the you know, I'm what I'm saying is that the sound waves are traveling at the same speed. The sound waves are traveling at the same speed. They're going to be hitting you at the same speed for every single last wave. Okay, that is a linear. No, not at the same rate. No, it, it will be the same rate. Because if they're compacting the sound from the front. The rate is actually going to be different because they're going to be closer together. Well, well, behind you, they're going to be... No, uh, okay. the, wave, the wave is the same, Time out. but Time. the rate's different. Time out. Like, I'm, I'm... Look at the video. Black, video. Blackheart, stop. Stop, please. Physics. Please, please, stop. I'm not taking into consideration the car l moving away from you. Okay? I'm just talking about it coming closer to you. Because the this, this graph is only showing from... Uh, from its furthest point to when it's right next to you. That's it. It's not taking into consideration when it leaves you. Okay. Now I will grant you. Okay. The um, if we are going to be looking at two different graphs. Okay. Based off of when it uh, when it uh, when it's coming closer to you and versus how it's leaving you. Okay, I will grant you those would be two different looking graphs to each other. Okay, because the um, you know the uh, the sheer amount would be different. Okay, you're not going to be hitting. You're not going to be. Well, I don't. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Okay, but my point is is that. There's nothing changing the sound waves, okay? The sound waves are traveling at the same exact speed. They're not changing how the sound waves are getting to you, okay? That's that's what the logarithmic is kind of all about, okay? Is that fact that it's it's changing, um, like the amount of sound waves that are uh, that are kind of hitting you. But when the when the siren is coming towards you. You're going to be hit with the same amount of sound waves, no matter what, okay? You know, yes, there's going to be a lot more of them. Sure, I will grant you that. But that doesn't mean that it's a logarithmic progression. You know, it's going to be a, a, it's going to be a linear progression because the, the, the amount of sound waves is, is going to be the same. It's going to be consistent amount, no matter... Like, if you, okay, uh, let me put it this way, okay? The amount of sound waves that you get from, from... What you're trying to achieve with what you're explaining is natural sound, which is that later down the line, which is two, sep two graphs together, pretty much. What do you mean? Look at the graph on natural sound. It has the logarithmic one in it, but it also has a second one that's different. That one would apply to that. Uh, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to explain this. Um. Okay. Would you agree with me that the amount of sound waves that would be basically hitting your body, you know, uh, would be the same um, as, as the police car is coming towards you? Would you or would you not say that the amount of sound waves that are hitting you is consistent.
only up to an extent. Just ignore the physics there. I'm I'm not I'm not talking about any kind of um, air pressure. I'm not talking about any kind of um, uh, I'm I'm not talking about anything. All I'm talking about is siren to you and a car speeding towards you at a consistent rate. Would you agree with me that the sound waves hitting you would be consistent, no matter what? Yes, it would be. Would the consistency remain the same, no matter where the car is in position to you? Yeah. Is that not a linear progression? The the loudness would increase. In this case, no, because at the rate it goes up is the, is different. What? How? Like I said, the it, the, the sound me, the sound waves. When it comes towards you, the loudness of it is going first slowly up, slowly up, but then all of a sudden it's like spikes up. No. It would be the logarithmic one. No. Yes, it would be on a moving car. No, it would the not be. be. They're being compressed from the front. They're being compressed. But they're still traveling at you faster than the car is. But that doesn't mean the sound is going to be the same all around. The, the, the sound, the, the loudness will progress based off of the traveling car. And that's it. Yeah, but did you not ever wonder why, when it comes from the front, sounds so different than when you're behind it after it bat once runs by you? The the amount of sound that you hear would the, be different. The loudness would be different. Yeah. As no, no, no. The, the the loudness would the loudness will increase in a linear way, no matter where you are on in a the. On stationary one would be on a moving one. No. It would. So you reach a point where you, all those compressed sound waves are like pretty much on top of you, and the loudness would spike. No, it doesn't. Just look up the video about physics and audio. Okay, I I, I will have to agree to disagree then because um. You know, uh, the the volume would be uh, the volume would be consistent. The amount of sound waves hitting you would be consistent uh, if you're dealing with a consistent moving vehicle. So, and if the sound waves the would, wouldn't be consistent, it it would because you're going to be hit with the same amount of uh, you're going to be hit with the same amount of um, sound waves, no matter what. It's it's going to be the same. It, it's going to be a linear progression of volume because you're you're the the consistency is the traveling car. As as the car approaches you at a consistent rate, it will be a consistent climb. It will be a linear climb based off of the speed of the car coming towards you because the sound waves you're you're right the sound waves would be more compact but the um, um, the amount wouldn't change okay you, the the sound waves are you know if if the car was going um, you know in a it uh, if, if if the car had any kind of acceleration to it, that would change the amount of waves that are that are hitting you, okay? And therefore, it would be more of a logarithmic based off of acceleration. And I will grant you that. But if I'm talking about a consistent driving car at the same speed, it would be linear. Okay, that's that's my that's what I'm kind of pointing out. At. That's that's what I'm trying to uh, discuss here. But 
Um, we'll have to agree to disagree. Uh, I will go ahead and look at, you know, um, feel free to, you know, if you can find that video, feel free to link it to me. Um, but um, that is... Um, but I'm I'm believe that you know yeah I can't see of a way that you know uh, I'm 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 wrong at this at this at this particular juncture okay uh, I will admit you know if it do, you know if if I'm proven wrong then I'm proven wrong but right now I I don't see how so. Um, but again, you know, yeah, we'll... I'm trying to draw something on paint just to show you from what I can remember how sound waves actually work between a stationary object and a moving object. Let me see if I can. Yeah, let me, let me, let me go to your channel so I can kind of see. You know, if you're, it, are you showing paint right now? I'm first setting it up. Okay. Okay, there it is. I put a, the rectangle, assume it's a car. On the, on the left side, it's a stationary car. You're this little diamond. That will be the sound waves consistent from a stationary car. And a moving car... The waves on the front get compressed and actually take longer to reach you, thus affecting the loudness of it. This is why it would sound different. The loudness of it would be different because the sound waves are being compressed and getting to you late. Okay, but here's here's my point. Okay. The loudness would not be consistent ever. Like right here, like it... right here, yeah. In this case, it's it's linear. Okay. It pull it pull, does this on this case. Pull the car but in this case. Okay, Blackheart. Would... Pause. Pause. Let's me the, oh, pull okay. pull the pull the car back like miles behind be and add this. and add more waves to it. The 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 amount that of will still be the same. The waves on the front are still being compressed and are not getting to you at the same rate. As it will be here. Here, the loudness will be consistent no matter what. But well, here, because it's moving, it's like it's as it approaches. Once it reaches like this point, all these waves are hitting you at the same time, making it sound louder all of a sudden. That's that's if you're you are suddenly not you know the 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 problem that you're having right at this moment in time is you're saying as though you um. You weren't hearing the. You weren't hearing it before, okay? That you can hear it, but this is like the rate of the loudness, starting from here. No, it's it's it it's and hearing it just slowly. But once it's like right next to you, like the sound, the loudness of it will actually spike because all these compressed waves are suddenly getting to you. No, the 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 amount of waves are still going to be consistent to you, no matter where the car is to A you. Moving car would not have this wave. No matter what, Phys physics has proven that a moving car will not have these waves. No matter what. Wait, you're, you're contradicting yourself, the Blackheart. But, but you, what you're saying, what you're saying, a moving car is gonna have this. That's what you're saying. On the right hand, uh, on on the right hand side, the car, you know, the car on the right will, you know, you're saying the picture on the right. I will agree with you. It, you know, is correct. Okay, your your yeah, the the that picture. Affects loudness. But the, my you're not recognizing. This but affects loudness. My point is is that the amount of waves, okay, coming from the car, is gonna be the you know the. Um, but the waves are gonna be the same, but because it's you're gonna have this. Won't be. You're gonna have the same amount no matter what, and that is a consistent volume. The volume may be consistent, but the way the player can receives it isn't. No, it's it. Mm, the 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 sound waves are traveling faster than a car. 
therefore the amount of waves hitting the player will be a consistent amount of waves hitting them okay because this the rate's different how no, you perceive it I, I, is different you just missed my point the amount of waves hitting you would be at a constant rate okay the the siren going off is you know sounding off at that constant rate okay the the fact that it's packed sure you know you're right on that you know the sound waves would be packed you would be hearing the the siren going off at a faster rate i will grant you that okay but that doesn't change the volume the loudness of the siren because you're constantly hearing the a constant increase of the sound waves coming towards you that is a linear progression of volume to from where you are ascending to the constant yeah, rate of the car coming like towards really you. To you up until it's really close to you like, it, that doesn't really it, like, it doesn't as a start point it is consistent it goes up but there will be a point as you get close that you're so close it's going to spike up that's what logarithmic say and that what happens with from the front, a moving vehicle. Like the moment that uh, cop car runs by you, you're gonna hit, get a little spike on that siren right next to your ear. The my my point is is that unless unless you are changing your position, okay, or you are coming from behind a building or something along those lines something else that is affecting the sound waves and you know directly in some fashion or another or there is an acceleration of said car or something along those lines there should be no reason for a logarithmic change okay there should be no reason for it because the amount of waves hitting you at a, in a stationary position with a with the car going at a consistent speed towards you would be a constant linear progression okay the car car traveling to you would be much like you just walking to a stationary car it is the same constant rate the the fact that the the, the fact constant on a at, moving vehicle the but, loudness would change with a moving vehicle or a moving object it would be still consistent the loudness wouldn't i will have to disagree with you on that one if it was a stationary yeah the loudness is consistent it's a straight line as you walk into it because the waves are not being altered in any way shape or form the waves aren't being all is determined by the how close together these waves can be no, it, it it determines how much you hear. It doesn't determine the, the loudness. No, no, it, it, incorrect, my friend. I'm sorry. No. Physics that has shown as a moving object is coming to you that those waves are being compressed, and the rate in which you receive it actually affects how loud you hear it. So if it's moving very fast, say like a, a hundred miles per hour, assets coming to you for like five blocks, give it, it's going to be consistent a little bit up until it's like just a few meters from you. And that point, that's, is that loudness is going to spike up fast because you're getting more waves being hit to you at a much faster rate. That's why when it, uh, when standing here and standing here, it's gonna be have a massive spike of loudness between here and here. Well, if it was like all the way out here, you'll be like within this part. That one part would seem linear, but here it will, you'll be looking at this part of the chart where it suddenly goes up a little faster. The loudness of it. Okay, you're, the the problem that you're making right at this moment in time is the fact that you you you're only drawing three waves. Add more this waves. Add, if even if I add the more waves, the principle is still the same. It is the same. It, it you're you're getting the same amount of waves. 
no matter what. But not at the same rate. That way no, you it is... said it is affects how loud it sounds. Like right there. This guy's getting bombarded by waves, which will make it sound louder. Well here, it doesn't matter where you're standing, the distance between each wave is gonna be the same. So the loudness is going to be linear in that case. But here it would affect how loud that is right on your ear. Remember, waves are vibrations and the and that's what <laughs> hearing is. It's vibrations. If the waves are closer together, that ear is gonna vibrate fast, making it sound louder. But here, that vibration is consistent. But the the waves. amount of waves coming to you is consistent based off of the traveling car. The amount of waves that are hitting you from a speeding car Not is going to be it, it, a rate that determines how loud that is. N no, rate does not determine how. F Rate does not determine how loud a, a a sound is. Distance is. Distance is the only thing that determines how loud a sound is. That's it. Not the amount. Not the rate of sound. The distance from you and the, where the originating sound is. The distance between those two determines the how loud. Uh, the you know what you are hearing is okay if the if the sound that you're hearing from miles away is super loud then you will hear it okay but if it is super quiet you will not okay distance is the only thing that will change that okay unless of course you spike up the volume of what you know what is actually being um you know uh displayed okay the the rate on which the waves hit you does not uh it does changes. does not it change the volume that it does physics says that it does <sighs> physics will always affect how you perceive uh, audio always Okay. Uh, let's let's pause for now. Okay. We're 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 beating around the bush. You know. Let's let me go and look up something myself. Okay. Their black heart. Let me see what. You know. Uh. Let me let me try to come at this from a different angle. Okay. We'll uh, we'll agree to disagree for right now. Okay, and we'll come back to the to this tomorrow. Okay. Do you, uh, are you okay with that? Unless sure. unless you want to continue this this debate, which obviously we're going around in circles right at this moment in time. Um. You know, I need to find. Uh, I need to find something else. Okay, that is. Uh, to figure out, you know, what, where the main, um, where the main problem is on this one, okay? And right now, we're, we're arguing, you know, you're, we, we both feel like we're right, right? And obviously, we're having problems trying to get, uh, you know, either, you know, I'm I'm trying to explain it wrong or I'm incorrect in some fashion or another. I don't know. OK. Um, or there's something that maybe you're also not understanding or subtle along those lines. Like maybe maybe I'm correct and there's something that you're not understanding or maybe I'm incorrect and I'm not understanding whatever. But obviously us you know, arguing with each other about this is not going anywhere right at this moment in time. We need to have a third party kind of interject and go, okay, you know, uh, let's let's look at this in another way, and we'll we'll come back to it, and we'll we'll address it next time, okay? So otherwise, we're just going to argue with each other until we're blue in the face, and 
we won't get anywhere. Um, so let's let's pause for now until you know let's let's you know step away with cooler heads. <laughs> um, and we'll uh, you know let me look up online a little bit more about this and and figure out you know what you know what's you know what what is a, another way of looking at it differently okay and we'll uh we'll come back to this again tomorrow and hopefully we'll have a better understanding of what could be you know you know what where you know i might be wrong or you might be wrong or where we both might be wrong i don't know again we'll we'll step up step away from this with cooler heads and we'll come back to it tomorrow okay You good? Yeah. Okay. Um, so that's going to be, and you know, obviously, you know, you need to also get some food in you. So, <laughs> um, so, um, what, what are you playing tonight again? Rogo Galaxy. Gotcha. So, uh, and I will be stepping into Warframe for anybody that is interested in that. Um, so um, obviously Black Heart's going to uh, sign off for now and and do his own thing, uh, get some eat, and then he'll be back on later. Um, I'm going to be staying online to do some video uploads, and I will look into uh, this a little bit more. So so you know just uh, just to let everybody know what's going on. So. Uh, we shall return, and um, I want to wish everybody, um, you know, thank you for joining us for this Unreal Engine session. Um, it, spent, it was a very interesting debate at the very end there. Uh, obviously, we're, we're taking a pause for that, uh, and then we'll come back to that discussion tomorrow. So uh, if you want more of that discussion, then uh, then I would recommend that you stop on by during our stream tomorrow and listen in while we discuss this further. Um, but that's going to be it for tonight. So um, I'll leave you to your audience, Sir Blackheart, and uh, I will talk with you uh, more tomorrow uh, for some Genshin yep. Impact. Sounds good? Yep. All right, man. Or actually... Unreal first and then Gunshot Impact, but yeah. <laughs> All right, man. You have yourself a good night. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and mute down here at this moment in time. Let me get some uh, background music going here so that I can. Um, okay, so <sighs> all right, um, that's that's where we're gonna go ahead and uh, end this video for the Unreal. Um, again, um, I will try to look up some online. Uh, sources and see um, let's see about this okay so if you were watching his uh, you know just a just a wrap up at the very end here okay um, so he gave a picture with a car okay and he had some very close knit waves to the front of the car, okay, where the sirens are very compact coming towards you, okay. The, the problem, and the, the, the problem that I have with you, uh, with it, is the fact that um, he's not adding sounds, you know, he's not adding a consistent amount of sounds to the front of the car, okay. And the distance between those sound waves are constant 
based off of the car. The sound waves are going to be are, are leaving. You know, if the if the audio from the sound wave or from from the car, if the siren is consistent, okay, meaning that it will like you know if if a sound wave leaves the car every second, okay. The, the sound waves tr travel at a constant speed, okay? Unless, of course, there's some other unknown factors, okay? I'm not, I'm not talking about the unknown factors in this. I'm not talking about, like, air pressure. I'm not talking about uh, different kinds of winds. I'm not talking about any kind of buildings or anything along those lines that might affect, like, um, sounds reaching you or anything along those lines. I'm talking about a very plain you know, flat plane, the, the the car is traveling at you at a constant, like, 10 miles per hour, right? Let's say, that, you know, the car is traveling at you at a consistent 10 miles per hour, no change in it whatsoever, no acceleration whatsoever, it is coming at you at 10 miles per hour, okay? The sounds leave the siren every second, okay? So... Those sound waves will hit you every second, okay? So you will hear those sounds every second, okay? The thing is, is that the, um, the amount that you are going to be hearing them is going to be consistent to how fast the car traveling at 10 miles per hour is reaching you. Okay, and the amount of sound waves does not change. Okay, they're still going to be hitting you every second, you know, to you as a stationary person. So, therefore, there's no flood of sound waves to you. There's no, like, suddenly a, a wave of sound waves hitting you. Okay, that's why I'm saying that the progression is a linear progression in that particular case. Okay, if the car is staying consistent at 10 miles per hour, the sound waves are one second leaving the car. Okay, the sound waves are traveling much faster than the car is, so the sound waves will be reaching you faster than what the car will be, right? So, but the sound will just keep on hitting you for one second per, okay? Um, so, um, you're not changing the car speed, you're not changing the, how fast the waves are traveling to you, so therefore, you know, I don't see how that could be a logarithmic pattern, okay? You're not getting a increase in waves hitting you from that kind of an example, okay? The only thing that is changing is the distance between your stationary object and the car traveling to you. Okay. Um, and therefore, the, the distance is changing and therefore the loudness is increasing at a constant rate. Okay. That's, that's how I'm in, and that's how I'm seeing it right at this moment in time. Okay. Um, it's, it's not changing the amount of waves hitting you or anything along those lines. If the, if the car is sounding off every second, the sound waves are going to be hitting you every second. So that's why I'm like, there wouldn't be any kind of, uh, logarithmic change along those lines. Okay. So that's why I'm... That's why I'm hesitant about about this right at this moment in time, okay? Um, but we'll see, okay? Again, I don't know, okay? I'm not a whiz when it comes to physics or anything along those lines, okay? I'm just using, you know, standard, you know, logic, mathematical thinking, you know, reasoning, whatnot, to try to come up with the answer to this particular uh, scenario okay if I'm wrong then let me know okay 
uh, if you feel like you know I'm I'm missing something out of that particular problem in some fashion or another, then then I will you know uh, you know maybe try to explain to me why I might be incorrect in that um, in that determination. Okay. Now bear in mind. Okay, I'm putting the man standing right in the path of the car. Okay, and I'm not changing the position of, I'm not changing where the, you know, the person is. Um, I'm not moving the person at all or anything along those lines. I'm just having the car, you know, traveling to, you know, hit hit the person. Okay, so the the distance of the wave would be fairly consistent in in that regard. Okay. Now, if you were to maybe put the uh, the person off to the side or something along those lines, then I might see uh, maybe a little bit of a change in that because the the wave itself is going to be um, might have other factors in it, but at the same time. I figure that that would also be still consistent as well, but I don't know. Okay, um, let me let me try to put some research more into this on my own time. I will come back to it, and maybe um, maybe we'll figure this out. Okay, so uh, give me a second, or you know, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Feel free to give a like and subscribe and all that jazz. Go ahead and check out Blackheart's channel. Um, you know, give him some, show him some support as well. Um, I just want to make sure that, um, you know, I don't want to, I don't want, you know, I needed to kind of pause because obviously we, it was starting to get a little heated there and I didn't want to cause any additional problems or anything along those lines okay so um so let me let me come at this with a from a third with a third party perspective and see where i might be wrong okay i'll admit i might be wrong okay i don't know how and that's what i'm going to look into so Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully I'll catch you next time. Until then, take care. Have a good night. Stay healthy. Stay safe. And I'll catch you strangers next time.